Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a little video talking a little bit more about security and security levels of patches of Windows and a few little uh, concepts and, and things that people think are good but they're not in reality. And um, the first thing I want to address because there's so many people that said, you know, well, oh, well, you know, Windows 7 users, a lot of them didn't update. They did. Because if they didn't update, uh, they would have been bitten by viruses or malware. Uh, one of the things that, as a tech guy, I've seen so many times is unpatched Windows machines because for some reason, it, you know, Windows Update was broken and they were months behind in security. Well, they always needed a tech guy because they all were bitten by viruses or malware at some point. Because it's impossible to maintain Windows without updates for months at a time without something happening. Once again, your antivirus doesn't help. And anybody that says, well, just have a good antivirus has no idea what security is all about. So uh, one of the things that we were talking about this week, of course, is the big and huge patch Tuesday we had with uh, uh, like 115 security vulnerabilities. Which is pretty amazing, I think, and it's the biggest patch Tuesday I think Windows ever had. The first thing that I'd like to say is a lot of people say, well, you know, oh, well, it shows how Windows is bad. And, well, you know, that's also uh, something that people have no idea what they're talking about. Because you want to see how much patches and security patches Mac computers have every month. Numbers are very high. And they will have 50, 60, 70, 80 different patches for security vulnerabilities in their Mac OS 10 operating system very often. So it's just that we don't talk about that much. We talk about it on Windows because it's the most popular operating system for computers. And so, you know, anybody that says, well, you know, it shows how bad Windows is, and they, once again, you don't know what you're talking about. It's, you know, one of those things that I hear all the time and you're like, yeah, same thing with people saying, well, you know, well, you know, Linux is going to keep you safe. Yeah, that's why Linux has updates almost every day, every week. There's tons of security flaws in Linux that are fixed constantly. Same thing. No operating system is safer than another. And Windows 10 is actually quite safe. And uh, if it wasn't, Enterprise would not be using Windows. So, you know, it gives you an idea. Um... There are several levels of security patches. And in the case of Windows here, uh, we could talk about the way that they patch. So they will have critical flaws and important security flaws in general. What's the difference between both of them? A critical flaw, well, it means that it's easy to exploit. It means that once the hackers know what it's all about, they know how to exploit it and they know how to get into your computer and do what they want. And um, the other thing is the um, fact that when it's critical, it could also mean that hackers already know about it before it was even patched. An example of this is one of the small patches that appeared this week on uh, Thursday which was a small cumulative update to fix the uh, SMB V3 uh, wormable hole. That was a real, real bad one. And the fact that they patched it real fast, I think they knew that somebody out there already was, you know, hackers were already exploiting this, and it was important to fix. When we talk about important security flaws, important means that it probably isn't hackable from the internet or at a distance. So if you go on the internet and you have important security flaws, they probably can be exploited. They need to be exploited in a different way. So you need to have either physical access to the computer and then you can exploit. Or in some cases, it still can be exploited by the internet because a lot of people think, oh, well, important, you know, they can't do anything from the internet. Well, if you got an important and a critical flaw, for example, well, they can exploit the critical flaw. And then because they have 
access to your computer at a distance, now they can exploit the important flaw because it's like having a physical access to your PC. So these are the things you need to know. As for Windows updates, um, you know, I always say it, for security, it's super important to have these installed because they do fix a lot of security holes. Um, you know, some of you are using a strategy. Um, I've seen a few comments of, you know, well, you know, I, it's here, but I'm not installing it right now. I've deferred updates for a few days. Um, you know, I on, on security flaws, um, I have a hard time about that, you know, but... I understand also that, well, you know, I'm going to just defer it for a couple of days and see if people are having problems. As long as you don't defer it for like, you know, a month or, or, or you know, really keep them like there and, and, and not install the updates for a long time. I guess a few days, you know, uh, for the most part, probably will be okay. But don't wait too long, you know, um, if, if you do defer updates because... You want to see if everything is all right. And and I totally understand why people would want to try that or do that because of the uh, history of bad updates that Microsoft, unfortunately, has. Um, so I understand that. But, you know, don't don't delay it too much, honestly. Um, and, and, you know, when you feel right, uh, install it as quickly as possible. But one thing for sure, you need to keep those updates. Um, and uh, every operating system has flaws. Like your Android phone fixes dozens of security flaws every month. Android. Apple fixes dozens of security flaws in their iPhones and iPads every month. Dozens in Mac OS X. Linux has dozens and dozens of security fixes every week. Because they have a different cycle. On Linux, most distros update as soon as there are some updates available. They don't have a fixed date for updates. Well, it shows you there's a lot of security flaws in Linux. And anybody that pretends one operating system is safer than another, once again, doesn't have a clue of what they're talking about in computers. There's as much chance of getting hacked on Linux or on Mac OS X than on Windows. But the thing is, is how interesting is it to hack Linux? For a lot of hackers, it's not interesting. The user base is very small. Mac is getting more and more attention because even though the user base is much smaller than Windows, it's still much bigger than Linux. So it could be interesting in some cases. And we see it. We see an increase in malware, and we see an increase in exploits that hackers want to try to get into Mac computers. So, you know, it's just a question of numbers. And it's really, really irresponsible to think that, you know, you're safer because of using this or that operating system rather than Windows. It's an illusion. It's the reality is in none of the operating systems are safe 100% all the time. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.